And now, your first alert five weather. And hopefully you've been able to enjoy the weekend. I know it's been extremely hot across all of Southern Colorado. Today's high in Pueblo. This is unofficial 107 degrees, a new record for the 10th day of July, but also two degrees shy of the all time record at the Pueblo Airport. That would be 109. Topping on the springs today at 98 degrees, beating the old record of 97 by one degree. And it is still frying pan hot all across the Arkansas River Valley from Pueblo East towards La Junta and Lamar. Also tracking some triple digit heat up towards Kit Carson and Eads. Now, some areas have seen a little bit of rain, including out towards Lyman. We've seen some showers just east of Monument. So these spots have been allowed to cool down from what we saw with that heat earlier today. Most of the rain, the bulk of it, along a frontal boundary out towards uh, Custer. County extending into Fremont County as it moves east. If it holds together well enough, we could get some rain across the I-25 quarter, but most of the I-25 quarter are seeing some very low dew points. And because it's so dry, I think most of that would just be those gusty outflow winds as opposed to any sort of appreciable precipitation. Now on Monday, we do see a change in the pattern. We get a cold front that drops in early in the morning. Behind it, we get better instability, better upslope flow, lots of moisture as well. That's going to spell out some more widespread rain. You'll see that in the mountain areas by early to mid afternoon. And then look what happens by the late afternoon to evening hours. Storms roll into the plains and here, especially south of Highway 50. Some of these could be on the strong to severe side with rain likely to linger into Monday night. Also tracking a slight risk for areas in yellow of some flooding, flash flooding, urban flooding, a concern. And again, for that severe risk, that's generally going to be along or near the Arkansas River Valley points off to the south and east. As you look ahead to the future cast, still some rain showers on Tuesday and then drier weather for the plains, at least Wednesday to Thursday as that moisture retreats back to the west. Overnight lows tonight dropping down to the 50s and 60s, so still fairly mild out there. Tomorrow behind the cold front, this brings in a change, folks. Highs are going to be down about 10 to 15 degrees across the region. So again, still some lingering moisture here in the springs on Tuesday, and then we dry things out, warm it up again as high pressure builds back into the region on Wednesday and Thursday. Pueblo, heavier rain Monday with some isolated strong to severe storms. Still some afternoon to evening storms Tuesday, then we dry out and go back to triple digits by Thursday to Friday. Canyon City fairly active here, especially for areas west of I-25. Maybe dry Thursday, but otherwise we're tracking near daily storm chances, and we keep those storm chances going daily for Woodland Park. Temperatures in the 70s through Tuesday. We're back with more News 5 after the break.